I'm on LinkedIn as well. LinkedIn as well. How's that going for you guys? Uh, <clears throat> I just bought the uh, LinkedIn Sales Navigator, mm -hmm. and I just started doing it two weeks ago. Um, and I got one appointment, sat him, quoted him, sent the proposal. Been two weeks. I talked to you yesterday about it. Uh, yeah. uh, haven't heard back from him yet, so. I went back to him today, just asked him for, I said, just basically circled back. I said, listen, like, do you want me to go through the proposal with you next week with your business partner? And he hasn't seen the message yet. So I think that, was, that one's gone, to be fair, like you said. Uh, and then, yeah, potentially got another one uh, that's going to sit next week. So, yeah. We'll stick okay. with yeah, so like, a, so just so everyone sort of knows how our conversation went. Um, so you, you sent a proposal. Yeah. And that was, they, they sort of like, left you hanging, basically. Exactly. Uh, so there, there, was no, there was no real commitment on his end, like when he was going to get back to me, there was no really, I mean, yeah. I gave them on the proposal, I gave him like a one month deadline, which to be fair, was probably like too long. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the way we do it, um, like, like I said to you yesterday as well, if, if anyone says, um, you know, can you send a proposal? We basically say, well, yeah, it's fine, but there's nothing that we can say in a proposal that we just can't say to you face to face right now. So, you know, let's discuss now, see if you can come to an agreement. If we can come to an agreement, then we'll send over, you know, the terms that we've agreed to after the call. Um, and that usually sort of puts them on the spot as well because they can't really hide behind the, oh, yeah, send me an email or send me a proposal. Okay. And a when a proposal gets, is, is, is a screen smoker. Yeah, for them, it's a proposed base for them to get out of the call. 100%. And for what we offer, there is no need for a proposal. We can sell them straight on the spot. And that's what you should always aim for. If they do want a proposal, get them on the next call maximum three days from now. Yeah. So for example, exactly. we, we had a call yesterday. Then over the, in the call, we go over everything. And then it's like, hey, I can send you our agreement, but it will outline exactly the same that we said today. No, hey, go over it. When are you free on Monday? Boom. Get another call on Monday. That only gives them three days to go over it. And then on Monday, you close them. Yeah. And this works, this works like up to seven figure businesses. So like, you know, regardless yeah. of how, how much they're spending, how much they're making, you know, it, it still can be done in the same way. Same thing. Um, and yeah, like Ewan yeah. said. In, in hindsight, like the bigger the business, the easier it gets. Yeah. Like true. the smaller ones are harder to close. Because the only thing they know is money. Like they, they don't realize yet that they have to spend X to get this in return. You know, like uh, for example, with, with certain clients of mine where we spent like four or five K a day, when we were on sales calls with them, they don't even think about the cost. Mm -hmm. they're only, the only thing they're interested in is, okay, what, what kind of money do you bring to the table? Yeah. But yeah, definitely... Uh... If, if there's an, an additional call needed, make sure it's max three days. What we usually say is, okay, well then, does the same time tomorrow work for you as well? Make sure that they commit to it. Um, and what we also do is, because uh, do you use Calendly, Adam? No, no. What, what do you use to schedule in the calls? Uh, just pen and paper. <laughs> Wait, yeah, it's just, it's just like I just always like about. on the on the call have the confirmation so for example if we were on on a call and we agree yeah always yeah. know what time zone are they in never say your own time zone it will get yeah, them all course. messed up yeah so yeah. if i know they're i don't know european time it's specifically okay next week monday six o'clock does that work for you then they will say yeah okay and during the call i go into calendly i make the meeting I yeah, invite yeah. them and I wait for them to tell me on the call they got it and they accepted it. I do right. not leave the call until they have done this. Yeah, yeah. it's a good show. Yeah. And it, it's difficult, right? Like sometimes it's like, especially I'm not very salesy. So it's sometimes a diff, you're in a difficult situation where you're sort of pushing for it. You, you, it feels difficult, right? But you just need to stick through it. Um, and yeah, like Aaron said, like, you can send the colony link and they'll fill it in, but sometimes you will get a client that's a bit difficult. Just fill it in for them or reschedule it for them. Make sure that they get that confirmation. And in Cal Calendly is free, by the way, guys. There's no promotion to Calendly. Mm -hmm. It's completely free. Um, you can set reminders. So you, we've got three email reminders, 
free text message reminders. Um, and then there's, there's also the, the email that has the Zoom link. So there's almost no way that they haven't got, haven't got the link or the reminders because there's so many coming at them. It's, you know, obviously it's a bit overkill having three on each, but it's the only way that we can confirm that the, the client is definitely getting our emails and definitely knows the calls taking place at that time. And if you do then also get them on the call, you can always pre-frame people. You know, it's like our brain is all wired the same. So we all fire to certain things. So one thing we always want to have before they jump on a call, they need to have like a positive framing around what we do. So what you can make is a very simple website at the top, the name of your business and all the logos of every business you have worked with. Now here you can just be clever. Like if you worked with, I don't know, you work with Apple during a two month summer internship, put the logo of Apple on it and say, I work with Apple. Every single thing you come away, put it on that page below it, put the results. And if potentially, if you have put their client testimonials, that link, call it your, I don't know, your brand slash review or whatever, this link, give it to them. So once they schedule and book the call with you, you can just send them a quick email and say, hey, you know, just to make sure we can get up to speed. If you want to know more about us, have a look at this page. So then before they go on a call with you, they've already seen, you got knowledge, you got reviews. This person knows what they're talking about. So you can get right down to business. Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. And if you are seeing this, that means you've made it to the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. And that was basically a snippet of a one-time event where we basically went in, analyzed your ad accounts and uh, answered any questions that you had completely free of charge, no strings attached. So if you wanna join something like this, there's nothing really like this on the cards anytime soon. However, we do have a coaching program where we do exactly this. So not only do we show you exactly you know, how we've been able to generate multiple six figures with our agencies, generate hundreds and hundreds of appointments per month for ourselves as well as our coaching students, but we'll also answer all of your questions analyze your clients ad accounts and also share our screens and show you exactly how we're generating leads for our own agency, how we're generating sales for our you know, e-commerce stores, our own clients and so on and so forth. So if that sounds interesting to you, I will leave a few resources in the first comments of this video. One of them will be Erwin's own YouTube channel, so feel free to check that out and subscribe to his channel. Uh, the other one will be the link to the free agency scale and fast track Facebook group. And the third one will be to book a free call with one of us or so, you know, basically someone on our team, no external sales guy, not like that. It will be someone on the team, either myself, either Erwin, Brandon or Elliot. We will go over where you're currently at with your agency and then see if we can come up with a game plan to get you up to six figures and beyond as well and you know the best way of uh, of doing so so if that sounds interesting to you it will all be linked in the first comment down below but for now i'll wrap up this video here thank you so much for watching like share comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video yeah, yeah.